Hello everybody, I am Shepos and welcome back to Let's Play Nox. Okay, so we're in the Dismal Swamp. Where things are going to get a little bit tricky, I would say. Goddamn wasps. So, uh, we best be on our guard at all times. Whilst we're here. Because this is not going to be easy. When is it ever easy? Oh, there's actually something in there for once. I'll take that. Okay. All these spiders. Not worth using a fireball for. Done. But there. Okay. I hate these things. Uh, these poison. Poison bags? I suppose that's what you could call them. Whoa. Calm down there, little man. Whatever the hell you're supposed to be. I, I don't know what they're supposed to be. Shadow men or shadowlings or something along those lines. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna recharge us waiting for that poison to to sort of blow over, I suppose you could say. Right. Let's Oh God damn it. Never mind. Hang on a second. Is there? Hmm. Aha! There is. Well, well, well. What do we have here then? I'll come back to it in a second. I'll just wander on a little bit. Zombies! We're under attack by the fucking zombies. They're everywhere. God damn. Done. Goddamn zombies. Burn, baby. Staff of Stunning. I had one of them like God knows how many episodes ago. Okay, that should be cleared down here now. Uh huh. I don't remember ever finding this before, but then again, this game does change in accordance to your characters. So different characters are really. That's all that's down here? God damn it, I thought there'd be something at least a bit better. What? Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. Moving on. <coughs> okay. Let's see, what are we dealing with exactly? More spiders, more zombies. I love killing zombies. I actually love that, um,. That idea with the zombies, the fact that uh, they um, they don't die unless you like completely and utterly disintegrate them. I like that idea because it kind of brings the whole legend behind the zombie to. Oh, this can't be good. It kind of brings the whole legend of, of the zombie to an actual reality. Okay, can I not kill a wisp with a fireball? No? Well, that's gonna make life a bit awkward now, isn't it? That's gonna make life rather awkward when it comes to them. If I can only use lightning against them. Why won't fireball work against them? I don't quite understand. Go, go. There we go. And a nice level up. Hmm, don't quite understand why a fireball won't work against the wisp. Go, go. Is it because they're made of a sort of spectral light or something? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it anyway. Fucking leeches. Bugger. There we go. Yeah, I, I, I don't quite see the logic behind that one. I'm trying to see the logic behind it, but I, I just don't. I don't see why a fireball can't hurt a, a will o' wisp. Will o' the wisp, or whatever the fuck they're called. But, uh, yeah, that one doesn't quite add up for me. 
And the thread. What have we got here? Wizard Town of the Stars. Will O' Wisp. These charming little globe balls will often lead you to a surprise. Not always pleasant. They are much more dangerous than they appear. I like this helmet, it emits light. I have regeneration already, so. I'm not going to swap it for my regeneration. I can see perfectly fine. As it is. Okay. Let's keep moving. Zombie! Some of them are tough, and some of them are not. Done. 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 All right. This fireball spell, or staff, I should say, really makes my life a hell of a lot easier here. When you have to use, you know, fire to to take out the the uh, zombies completely. Done. Done. I don't need to shock that fucker the rest of the way. Okay. More zombies. Another Done. tough one. Seems that one, if you if you look carefully at, at the at the zombies, there's one particular one that has um has no has no skin on its arm. They seem to be the tougher one of the of the zombies. Like that fucker there. He's no skin Done. on his on his right arm. Done. 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 There we go. So I'm guessing that's how we determine which are the tough ones and which aren't. Oh thank goodness for these for these mana stones. Without them we'd be in real deep trouble. I have to say that much. Okay, we'll go this way first. Oh, I've got another one of these things. The Shadowlings, as I'm going to call them. I think that's their name, but I'm, I can't say for certain. And I will shock them the rest of the way. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, 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 oh. That hurt. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use... Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, we'll go back over here. And John, John, pass that. And I think there's more of them over here, so we'll just use them. And we'll finish off this Will O' Wisp. Wherever it may be. Where are you? I know you're here. Jack. There we go. It seems though that they can't attack me as long as I'm damaging them. You know, the lightning, because it's a constant onslaught of attack. It doesn't seem to harm... Or sorry, it doesn't seem like they can harm me as long as I'm constantly um, hurting them. So that's staff and shades, that's what they're called. Shed. Shun the shadows of swamps to avoid these skittering undead. What was the end of that actually, sorry? Aberration. Sorry, I kinda closed that before I finished reading that last word. Okay, what have we got here? Oh that's the yeah, that's that shitty little staff that doesn't really do an awful lot of damage. Oh bloody wasps and their annoyances okay mana potion I already have a full amount of them so I don't need them go away wasps there we go is that another zombie that went down there? I don't know. Oh. shit Come on, burn it out. No, didn't quite finish it. There we go. I have to say, out of the three campaigns, three storylines, whatever way you would prefer,
prefer to call them. Um, the wizard, surprisingly, is probably one of the easier of the of the three. I, I'd rate the the warrior is probably the hardest. Believe it or not. Oh, wrong spell. Shit. There we go. I would actually rate the warrior the hardest out of the three. But a lot of that has to do with the likes of the magic casters and, and things like that because he's only got his, um, you know, he's only got melee combat so you have to get up close and personal otherwise with a conjurer you have the option to go from a distance and of course with a mage, well, it's distance as well. So, overall, and it's gener again to my surprise, I, I do genuinely think that the, the wizard is probably the easiest out of them, which is quite surprising, but I don't know. I kind of underestimate mages though, I, I've always had a habit of doing that, um, if, I, if I'm going to be completely honest about it. I've kind of always underestimated them because I've always gone for a very um, generally warrior slash nightblade kind of style um, as opposed to going for, for pure mage. I've only really ever gone for pure mage and something like that. Um, malevolence but <coughs> now I'm kind of I'm getting an idea of what a mage is capable of and they're far um, they're far more powerful than maybe I first sort of thought they were. I kind of, I've been underestimating an actual mage class of, of games, I have to admit. Um, you know, they, they, they are, you know, genuinely physically weaker, but what they lack in that sense, they seem to always prevail was raw, <coughs> excuse me, with raw power. So, yeah, maybe I'm not going to be so judgmental to the mage class from from now on because it's <laughs> it's kind of it's a class that has done me quite a lot of justice over the past you know, while I've really only played with mages over the past year, so um, you know, well, going on two years now, nearly. Um, you know, since since I started playing the level, is when I started really using mage Done. classes. Um, and I probably wouldn't have been down for the fact that I'm actually a tester for malevolence, and you know, I have to test out everything, including magic. And that's kind of what got me into the magic side of things. But when it came to went like Oblivion or like, you know the Elder Scrolls, Daggerfall, things like that, I always went for a more battle mage, night blade kind of of class. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, which is fine, you know, but I'm not getting kind of the pure mage, um, idea out of that. Can I jump over these to save me time? I can. Though that wasn't really not my intention. But I, even then, when I go for something like a battle mage or a nightblood, I always kind of go more for, you know, the the blade kind of side of it as opposed to going for the magic side of it. So, yeah, I, I've, I've enjoyed playing this as the mage actually. It's probably been one of the most, one of the more enjoyable out of the, out of the classes, I'll, I'll be honest. What have we got here? Regeneration and poison resistance. Well, that's pretty much a self-explanatory question, or rhetorical question, I should say, as to whether I'll be using that or not. Uh, just regenerate. Move on again. Bloody man-eaters are... I suppose they're, they're kind of referred to as fly traps, but they're kind of a bit too big to be fly traps, so I call them man-eaters, personally. Oh shit. Oh, this ain't good. Um, I need to think for a second now, and I'm not being given that opportunity. I 
I've really not been given that opportunity. Okay, I need to get rid of these as quickly as possible. Ah! Spellbook. Confused! Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Okay, that was a bit panic stations for a second. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's not have that happen again. I completely forgot about that ambush. Alright. Yes, that was that was definitely panic stations for a minute there. Okay. Um Let's just wipe these guys out. There we go. Did that kill him? It did. Okay, now we're getting places. Let's just regenerate and head on. Now, we must be near Mordwin by now. Yes, we are. Ah, uh, you must be the courageous young man my dear brother Aldwin spoke of. Come inside. I have something for you. Why, thank you. You are most generous, good sir. Make yourself at home. I'll be right back. Don't mind if I do. That fire is rather cozy over there. Ah, uh, here they are. Some of the most prized possessions in Knox. My brother brought them here for safekeeping in the event Ix was overrun. They may prove most useful against the dangers you'll surely face to the north. Thank you. Jandor's magic cloak and boots. Poison protection, shock protection. And haste level 4. Well, I certainly don't mind. Well, that, on the other hand. Uh, ah, we'll go with it. Go on, we'll, we'll. We'll roll with it. I will take each of them too. Moon glow. This spell causes your pointer to glow with a bluish light, useful for illuminating dark areas. And it's a spell that I've never really used that much. I think I used it once. Okay, with that done, let us continue on. And I see cracks in the floor. Ready for another ambush, I'm sure. No. There we go. Come on, finish him off before you run out of mana. Okay, regenerate and finish the job. There we go. I like the way that, that the mage has been developed in this because I remember when I was playing uh, Diablo 1, I, I tried playing with the mage and I had extreme difficulty. I, I really didn't do very well. Um, but with this, I, I like how the mage has been kind of, of done. Um, where I, I, I think the main idea of this and, and why I, I like the mage in, in this instance is um, primarily because I don't have to rely on mana potions to survive. I think that's one of the main reasons I, I have such a, a liking uh, for the mage in this. Because in, in like Diablo 1 and in Diablo 2, when you play a spellcaster, you, you're kind of extremely reliant on potions, and I, I just I don't like that idea. You're a bit too reliant. As, like, without it, you're practically. You're, you have no offense without it, really. So that's kind of why I like the uh, the mage here because oh shit I have I have plenty of options to replenish myself. And I remember in Diablo One I, I was having quite a lot of difficulty to survive. And it was um, definitely struggling to say the least. Right, okay, well, we'll pick up a few bits and pieces and 
Because we'll be coming across a merchant. And I'll take that. God damn it, zombie. Stop falling down until I just destroy you. Right, let's just, uh. Let's just take it easy. We'll. We'll get through this area. Smack! Smack those ghosts around. Think that they own the fucking place? Oh. Bugger. There we go. Gotcha. <sighs> there we go. I'm going to gain as much experience as I possibly can. So we're going to be needing this. Oh, shit. Oh, it's like this, is it? Right, you're going to block my my fireballs. I see. Okay. I keep forgetting that. That the, the melee characters or the melee enemies can actually block fireballs and things. Genuinely Don't forgot that. Just. just. <sighs> Shit. Okay. We'll, we'll get there. This is the same. There we go. That's it. You just fall apart there, Bony. Right. Okay. Ah ha ha! Another staff. Um, what was that I picked up? Generation two. What's my current one? Uh, where is it for generation two as well? Okay. Right. My robe is getting a little bit damaged, so I may keep an eye on that. Apart from that, I think we're doing okay. <laughs> you didn't block that one. Oh, bugger. Okay. <coughs> uh, I really need to get. God. Ah, fucking spikes, I swear. Alright, where's this guy to light? Shock him. Love the way they just break up and bones go flying. It's awesome. Right. Uh, there we go. Okay. Hello. Zombie vile. Seizing with fleshy corruption, these vile creatures can infect with a touch. They are much more dangerous than the common zombie. I think we figured that out a long time ago because of the bloody health they have. Because they're much tougher than their normal counterparts. Or at least that's what we found pretty rapidly. Okay, I think uh, we can get out of this dank hole now. Or near enough, anyway. There we go. Shit. There is a lot of dudes around here. Ah. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. And then the zombie just decided to faint for a bit and have a little nap. Finish him off. Are you gonna get back up? I've got a staff fireball with your name on it. There we go. Okay. That's it. Just come on down. Where the? Oh no. Oh bugger! I know where we are now. Yes, this is this uh, this area with like an army standing outside of here. Oh, how I remember this! This is 
is like a nightmare. Okay. Let's try it. And do this as, as much relative ease as possible. Without blowing up the place, preferably. Oh god, a necromancer comes in here, doesn't he? That's all I need to deal with. Yes, there he is. Come on. Where are you going? Oh. I need to heal badly. God damn it. Where is he? Where is he? Wait. Go back here. Go back here. Go back here. Go back here. Okay, he's being a tough necromancer to say this. How... I would have thought that would have killed him. Oh crap, I'm in so much bother. Why is it? Ah, there we go. Uh, ah. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Right, well that spell that I just got, I can't advance any further. What is it? Magic missiles, okay. Well, that's fine. We can at least sell that and maybe buy another spell out of it, so... Yeah, I don't mind that so much. Oh, God! Dude. Damn, fucking traps everywhere. Uh, ah, there we go. I was kind of worried about that skeleton rebounding my attack at me there for a second. But sure, I go on step straight to another one. Alright, let's recharge up and try and survive this. This isn't going to be easy. Okay. Oh, holy mother of... Ugh. Well, that didn't go quite according to plan, I have to admit. Jesus Christ. I can't get them unless they come through the actual door. This is the problem. Oh. Bugger. God damn it. Okay, those wisps are going to be a real thorn in the side. I'll tell you that now. And then I get a zombie that decides to poison me. Wonderful. Oh. 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 Okay, that that did not work out according to plan whatsoever. Okay. All right. Well, that's already broken, so I'm going to re-equip that. I'm going to take out this lightning staff, and I'm going to fucking use it. Big time. And it's already run out. Well, that's just mighty fine, isn't it? Let's try something different. And by different I mean just literally charging in and just blowing the shit out of everything that moves. Yeah, let's try and keep as far away from those wisps as possible. They're the ones that are causing me problems. Big problems. I'm gonna wear that for now. I'd be lost without these stones in here. That's for sure. Okay. <coughs> Let's try and do this properly. There we go. Well, that worked out much more effectively. The problem is the wisps, because I, for some, again, for some strange reason, oh god damn it, 
Fire doesn't seem to work against them. I don't know why. I don't quite understand that. I don't see any sort of logic behind it, but... I'll just go with it. That's kind of game logic, though, for you. It kind of has a habit of not quite making sense sometimes. But sure. Let's go with it anyway. Alright. Aha! There we go. You bugger off. You have no part in this quarrel with me and the wisp. Come here. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. We're starting to get places. Damn it. Fucking spells. Or traps. I forgot that I actually can use them. I have to admit. But oh well. Those ghosts are just. They're not even a threat. They're just a pain. Because they just stun me every time I get hit by them. I said pick up the shield, not fire a bloody fireball. Okay, with that, with this out of the way, we should be able to get somewhere now. Aha, uh -huh, well that's handy. Thank you. Now it should be a little bit easier to progress. With all those enemies out of my way. Though it doesn't help when you have one of them blown up and you have to wait for the toxins to go. Any day now would be very appreciated. Done. Done. There we go. Oh, god damn, another one. Ugh. And it's. Yeah, I have to set the D. Done. Done. It takes up so much mana to take one of them out. Okay. Let's, um. Okay, we'll go this way. Spiders, really? Everything else that we've fought here skeleton. Skeleton warriors, zombies, shades, wisps. They still fire out the occasional bloody crappy spider. Alright, well, we've made it this far. Uh, here we go, the greedy shopkeeper himself. Who also has traps set around the place for some strange reason. It doesn't have anything to do with people like me robbing his houses. His house, I should say. Ah, you truly tempt fate by coming here, stranger. So, would you like to arrange funerary services or Let me see for a second. That's only fire protection, that's poison and regeneration. Okay, I'm gonna keep ah, what one I have on me. Truly then. tempt fate by coming here, right. stranger. So, would you like to arrange funerary services, or might you desire to purchase goods? Uh, I'd rather purchase goods, thank you. Uh, a cloak of wasp spin. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that one for now. I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. I think I'll hold on to that one for now. The rest of this stuff can all be sold. Including them. Including that spell book. Oh, nice. It's over a thousand gold for that spell book. That's pretty good. What's that? That's just shock protection. Nah, that can. That can go on the cell pile. There we 
go. Alright. What have we got here? Moon glow. I don't know. Might as well uh, protect from poison. Reflective shield. Burn. Dispel undead. Now that's going to come in extremely handy. That's the continual recharging version of that. What's this? Poison protection, shock protection, poison protection, light, and... Okay, nah, I don't think there's anything really here that I need. And then you got, like, the scrolls, but they're not essential. Alright. Spell undead. Return the shambling undead to their rightful eternal rest. The only problem is it's quite expensive to cast. Fireball. Fireball only costs 30 to cast. Ah, you truly tempt fate by coming here, stranger. Uh, so, would you like to arrange funerary services, or might you desire to purchase goods? You're a real pretentious git, you know that, uh, Mr. Shopkeeper. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere else for me to go before I... go across the bridge and into the ogre encampment which is where I'm going to probably end this part because this has gone on quite long enough and yeah, we have a few wasps here nothing that we can't handle there we go This I wasn't expecting. Where are these guys all coming from? All of a sudden. <laughs> well, he kind of, uh. kind of, uh, walked into that, didn't he? Now, was I down that hole? I'm guessing I was, considering it's there and I didn't go any further, so I must have fallen in. Or at least I think I did. I'll quickly find out. Depending on where it leads, I might just save and load. I'll just save before I go down. No, I haven't, and I do know where it leads. Actually, I do know where that leads to. That leads to the ogre camp. So where does this then? Hmm. Where? Please help me. Oh, now I'm confused. Now I'm really confused. This always confuses me, actually. Um, I need to think for a minute. Um, <coughs> let me think. I'm trying to think, does the shop... No, I don't think the shop brings me anywhere, actually, does it? I can't remember. Oh, it does, it does, it does. Okay, right, right, right. Alrighty then. Yeah, okay, I know, I know what I'm doing now. But I'm going to actually leave it here for this part. And in the next part, we're going to go down into there, which will bring us back where the ogre encampment is. It's just that's kind of a, a back way in, I think, if I remember correctly, something like that. But anyway, I'm leaving it there for this part, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun.